Hi, Baby Bob. We've been looking for you. Oh, well, I've been looking for my blankie. Has anyone seen it? It's in the treehouse, Baby Bob. <laughs> oh, goody. It's not lost. <laughs> we found it while we were looking for the things on our treasure hunt list. Oh. oh. So, who wrote the list for the treasure hunt anyway? We don't know. Curtis found it on the table. Oh, uh, may I see it, please? Sure, here it is. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Maybe this riddle will tell us who wrote the list. Let's see what it says. Uh, find the items on this list, making sure that nothing's missed. <laughs> then, at the stroke of 11, round up a group numbering seven. <laughs> and meet me over by the clock that has a bird and goes tick-tock. <laughs> You're in for such a special surprise that you will barely believe your eyes. A surprise? Oh. I love surprises. Oh. And Barney, we have a group of seven like the riddle says. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, five. six, and me, seven. <laughs> oh, that's right, baby Bob. All right, let's see. Lots of clocks go tick-tock, mm -hmm. but what kind has a bird on it? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 clock. Clock. That's it's coming from the treehouse. Uh, Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, Well, there are seven of us, and we're at the right place, the clock with the bird. At the right time, 11. So where's the person who wrote the riddle? Oh, it's Noah! Good dog, nine and down and that's German for good day, ladies and gentlemen. I love your dress. Why, thank you, Kim. It's called a dirndl. And sometimes ladies in Germany wear dirndls on special occasions. I was just telling stories to children at a sausage festival in Frankfurt, Germany. Wow. <laughs> well, it's always good to see you, Stella. So it was you who wrote the riddle. But why did you want us here exactly at 11 o'clock? Well, I wanted you all here to tell you about a surprise I planned. <laughs> At 12 o'clock, some friends will come whom I want you to meet. And I've brought a special clock to tell us when it's time for them to come. <laughs> This alarm clock keeps me on time in my travels when I tell stories to children all over the world. And when the big hand and the little hand both point to the number 12, uh -oh. we'll... What's wrong? Oh, no. Most of the numbers are missing. Only the four and the five are left. And this is a special clock. The alarm won't ring unless all of the numbers are there. Where could the others be? Well, maybe they fell off in your suitcase, Stella. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. Good yeah. idea, yeah. Barney. I'll just look right down here on the bottom. <laughs> I only found one more number. Oh. That's an eight. Mm -hmm. I know my numbers. <laughs> Very good, Baby Bob. I just wish you knew where the rest of the numbers were. Oh, I just know what they look like. I don't know where they are. Oh, well, where did you see them last, Stella? Let me think. I remember seeing all of the numbers on Monday in Maui. Uh -huh. Or maybe it was Tuesday in Tahiti. Or maybe it was Friday in France. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then there was that little trip to the library to find new stories to tell children. Oh, I can't remember where I lost them. I'll just have to go back over my travels and see if I can find them. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. I hope you can find them. Toodles.
Bye. 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 I wish there was some way we could help Stella. But we wouldn't know where in the world to start looking. She travels everywhere. Hmm. Oh, maybe there is a way we can help. How? 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 Well, Stella said she went to the library to look for some new stories to tell.